So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a compound gear question. So if you haven't looked at it already, have a look at my last video that was on simple gear calculations. And that'll just give you, a, you'll need to look at that first before you do this. So compound gear are when two gears share the same axle. So if you have a look at, and this is a compound gear question here. So you can see that these two gears are on the exact same axis. So these two ones here are turning at the same time. So the way you solve one of these questions is you find the gear ratio of gear A and gear B. That'll be gear B over gear A. That's the driven over the driver. And then you multiply it by, you take gear C and gear D as a separate set of gears. Find the gear ratio of them, that's D over C and that will give you your total gear ratio. If you want to find the output speed, so that's a safety input speed if this was five. So the speed of, the speed of this gear is five. We'll want to find out how fast is this one turning. What you'll do is you'll just take, um, you'll take your input speed, which would be whatever you could say, five, five RPM and divide it by your total gear ratio that, that you've got using this formula. So let's look at, look at a work example of it here. Now, um, if you look at this example here, I've actually given it in two different ways and it's the same question. So you can see on the bottom here, I've drawn them out represented, instead of gears, I've represented them using circles. And um, on the top, there's an actual physical example of how it looks. So if you look here, we've got, um, just a, this is just like one of our last questions so look up here just the same as this question here except it's drawn in circle format so a is here b is here and then you can see b and c share the same axle and then this last gear d on this example it's here but in this one it's just it'll be the equivalent of what's over on that side of the gear so the same formula that applies. So you'll have gear ratio is equal to five over 30 by 10 over 40, which is D over C. So that's taken this gear set as one set here, which is five over 30. This gear is set as another one, 10 over 40, multiplying both gear ratios together to get, a, to get our overall gear ratio. So if you bring this down to here, you've got one over six, that's five into five is one, five into 30 is six. This one here, 10 into 10 is one, 10 into 40 is four. So one six by a quarter, multiply six by four, you get one over 24. Output will be your input divided by your gear ratio. Our input speed here, speed of this one is turning at five RPM. So we divide five, by 1 over 24 gives us 120 rpm to get from here to here if you want to do it quickly in your if you want to do this on a piece of paper it is all you do is you flip the fraction from upside down from the bottom so you and multiply so you'd put 24 on top of one and multiply by five if you don't understand that that's fine just uh, you can just do it out in your calculator